hello all here i'm going to show you macro with the subtotal using this example this is the smallest example related to the pharma items the first column of product pharma product quantity price total amount and the sales location and here i am going to take the subtotal based on sales locations so before that i am using the macro go to developer tab and record macro the macro i just name the macro as sub g t t just make it the name as sub g t t okay fine so what i'm going to do first of all go to the data and i am making the subtotal based on sales location i just sort it out sales locations then go to subtotal so based on sales location i change it to here it as sales locations i am using the sum and a subtotal of total amount and quantity right so just click on okay i've got the subtotal plus grand total of this pharma items now what i'm going to do here is go to developer tag and stop recording macro then what i'm going to do here go to the form control developer in the insert there is form control use any button insert here assign the macro macro name which i have made just before this is the name sub g t t click on okay and mention the button as name the button as subtotal right. before running this macro go to data and remove the subtotal from here remove the subtotal from here right and run the macro function here again Okay. So if I want to make one more macro just go to the record macro and mention as clear. Okay, I just name as clearer. Okay. What I'm going to do here go to data subtotal remove the subtotal i'm going to again to the developer insert the button i mentioned the button here assign the macro the second macro which we was which which i cleared from which i cleared the subtotal mention as here button name as clear caption okay stop recording go to run the macro again run the second macro clear right so This is the simplest example of macro function using with the subtotal. If you want, if you like my my videos, and if you want more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.